He rolled the dice and wound up with a house and a hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. But it's no board game for President Trump. That hotel is bringing in real money and a lot of it. Here's Juliana Goldman. This is a gorgeous room. <laughs> A total genius must have built this place. In the first four months of the year, the Trump International Hotel beat its own projections by nearly 200 percent, turning a $1.97 million profit. This was despite occupancy below 50 percent. It was largely because of some of the highest room rates in the nation's capital, which increased monthly after Mr. Trump took office. February's average, $491. March, $550. April 600. The numbers would delight any hotel executive, except that in the president's case, they come from private internal documents that the General Services Administration says were posted inadvertently. The GSA took them down, but not before the Wall Street Journal had secured the documents. The president still owns and profits from his company. The hotel, which he's visited five times since becoming president, is just blocks from the White House and has been the centerpiece of criticism leveled by ethics experts like Walter Schaub, who resigned as the government's ethics watchdog after he said the White House ignored his advice. Why is it problematic for the president to say, go down the street to the old post office to his hotel? Well, first of all, it gives the appearance that you're favoring your own properties. Um, you're using the presidency to profit. The president has spent roughly one-third of his time in office at Trump properties, including his current working vacation in Bedminster, New Jersey, and 25 days at his Mar-a-Lago resort, where membership fees have doubled to $200,000 since he took office. This hotel has become a gathering spot for Republicans here in Washington. Some tourists even book rooms here, hoping they'll get a chance to see the president. And some members of Mr. Trump's cabinet have even lived here, paying full price. Anthony? Juliana Goldman outside a very expensive hotel in Washington. Thanks.